Hello everybody and welcome to the 10th update of my Little Esta Riga, Riga International Airport. We're back here for yet another airport update here. We have 11 planes in the 10th airport update, which is, this has got to be the most that we've had in an update. Um, so yeah, it's going to be great right here. We have a whole bunch of aircraft to get to in today's update um, from a myriad of different airlines. Mostly Air Baltic, of course, but we have, uh, well, you can already see one, one of them right here. So, yeah, it will be a very fun update, and uh, we'll get into it right away right here. So we have the Ryanair set 37-800 right here. This one does have the split scimitar, but the actual aircraft did not have the split scimitars. This one arrived in from Brussels, Belgium, and is now taxiing out for the flight out to Gothenburg. And now right up next here, we have this Air Baltic A220-300. This one arrived in from Paris, Charles de Gaulle. And it will be heading out on the flight to London Gatwick later. Looking very nice right here. And uh, some Riga news. I, I guess I, I, I said it in the last update, but we'll say it again just because it's exciting. The British Airways has announced their service to Riga on the Airbus A320. They will be starting this winter in January. Uh, they will be offering flights from... Uh, Riga to London Heathrow, which means that now Riga will have flights to three different London airports, Stansted, actually four different ones, Luton, Stansted, Heathrow, and Gatwick beginning next year. So that is great to see, um, but Air Baltic will continue their service to Gatwick. Ryanair is Stansted, of course, and then Wizz Air, which I have to get a model of. Wizz Air is Luton, so very fun right there. I mean, we're only missing City and South End, so <laughs> um, I mean, if if private jets count, then I guess we have uh, South End covered as we've probably had at least one go to South End in the past year. And then it's just, it's just, it's just city <laughs> and who's going to start service to city. Uh, but yeah, uh, great to see. And uh, so this is uh, this Air Baltic aircraft heading to London, uh, London Gatwick. And then here we have the Turkish Airlines A330-200, filling in for 737 MAX. A. Obviously, this is not going to be a realistic aircraft here, uh, but just since it is the, the the real airline, I figured I might as well put it in here um, just just because it does add some more variety in the airport. I don't really like it when I include this aircraft too much, but it is an airline that flies here. And um, my justification for it really is that I would do it uh, if I got an Uzbekistan Airways aircraft, which I don't have yet. But at some point, I would like to get an Uzbekistan. Maybe NG models will make like an A320neo or A321neo. That'd be great. Um, I can include them in here. But uh, eventually, I'd like to get a Turkish Airlines Max 8 uh, to replace this one, as we get mostly Max 8s, but also 737-800s and the occasional 737-900. Uh, so. And even uh, A321s and 321 Neos, although I guess Turkish should just ground those, so maybe they're not the best aircraft to get for uh, this Turkish flight. But anyways, I'm not rambling. This one is in from Istanbul, and it will be heading back out there. Just pu just push back, and we'll be heading uh, back out to Istanbul on the turnaround. Well, before we move on, I'm going to show you this, because this is going to be our thumbnail. I mean, this looks absolutely fantastic. This was my dream when starting Riga, that it would look like this, and oh boy, it looks fantastic. So... We'll now get into the B gates, starting on the left side there with our uh, even-numbered B gates. We'll start up here with this Norwegian 737-800. This is in the Freddie Mercury tail. The actual aircraft was in the Sigrid Unset livery, and this one arrived in from Oslo, and it will be heading back out there. Looking very nice here, red nose course with uh, Norwegian. Now we'll get into this nice lineup of Air Baltic special liveries right here. This is looking great right here. Uh, excited to get into these two. Hopefully one day we'll be able to fill the trio with uh, the Lithuania livery. But uh, we have on the left of your screen the Latvia 100 Years of Independence livery on the Air Baltic, Airbus A2300. This one arrived in from Frankfurt and it will be heading out to Vilnius, Lithuania. And then right next to that one, we have the Estonian flag livery. And uh, this was the actual aircraft that flew on this flight, which is in from Amsterdam. And it will be heading out to Zurich. So nice uh, double H20 action right here with these guys. They're both looking great. I uh, love these liveries, especially the Estonia one. I mean, I'm a Latvian, so <laughs> um, I, I know I always am praising this Estonia livery, but they, do, they truly have a great flag. Um, 
uh, uh, Latvia, we, we, could, we could improve our flag a little bit, if I'm being totally honest, but um, it, it gets the job done. But uh, Estonia looking very nice right here. Definitely goes well with uh, the Air Baltic you know, colors as well, being uh, mostly cool colors. But yeah, this is a great lineup right here, these two aircraft. Hopefully someone's going to make the Lithuania uh, livery as well, just so we can have all three of them. And hopefully we can line them up someday. Uh, that's that's a goal for a future airport update, but that will of course take somebody making that plane, which <laughs> we'll see who does. Air Baltic, not the most commonly made uh, models by by anyone really, except for Herpa. I suppose JC Wings. JC Wings made two. Uh, Gemini made one, and then uh, Herpa has made two. So I guess that's enough time rambling. I do I ramble a lot in these Riga updates, but now we'll move on uh, to uh, the other side of our B gates right here. All right, now over to the other side of there, beginning in the back, where we have the Air Baltic Fokker 50. Uh, this one arrived in from Munich in Germany, and it will be heading out to Billund, Denmark. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, and then next down here, we have the Lufthansa A320 Neo in the Lovehansa livery. And of course, this one is doing the turn from Frankfurt to Germany, so uh, this one on the turn. Uh, so just It's actually just across from the Air Baltic A220, which came in from Frankfurt, so uh, that's a very fitting right there. And so yeah, nice little lineup here to begin our B gates, and we still have one more aircraft at the stands, uh, well, right next to this aircraft, and we'll get to that one right now. And of course, it's another Air Baltic A220-300. This one is in from Zurich, and it will be heading out to Tallinn, Estonia. So, uh, yeah, great B concourse there. I'm not really sure what they call it, as I, I, they don't really call it a concourse. But uh, B gates uh, looking great right here. And uh, so, yeah, great to get those filled up here. Only one of them was empty, which we've never had that in a Riga update before. I feel like I always say this is the first time this has happened in a Riga update, in every single Riga update. I mean, there's only been 10, but um, they're getting better and better every time. And uh, yeah, we love to see that here on the channel. Uh, so glad to have this airport. And uh, I mean, it was an ambitious project, but uh, it definitely uh, has paid off. And we've made a wonderful little airport here. And it definitely uh, complements MSP, Kalamazoo. Uh, Guam, Newark, and all, all my airports. I'm going to start rambling again. So we'll cut it right there. This aircraft heading out to Tallinn. And then here we have our other Ryanair aircraft. Uh, this one is taxiing in, unlike the other one, which was taxiing out. So both Ryanair aircraft are taxiing in today's update. Uh, this one is taxiing in from Warsaw, Poland, and it will be on the turnaround. It will be heading back out to Warsaw. And now we do have one more aircraft here, and this is a cargo aircraft here, the FedEx ATR-72. This may be a bit of a cop-out, uh, like the Turkish, although this one might be a little bit even more of a cop-out, because FedEx don't fly these here. Uh, they are, uh, we at Swift Air uh, ATR-72s, uh, and they are, they, they do a turn from Kaunas every time. So, um... Yeah, it, I, 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 justify, I justify this by the fact that Swift Air does uh, do flights for FedEx. So, I mean, it wouldn't be unreasonable for this to fly into Riga. Uh, but, but we just get a Swift Air uh, ATR-72. And, I mean, they do cargo flights. and But, uh, yeah, they, they just do turns from, from Kaunas. So uh, that's what this aircraft is doing right here. And so maybe not the most realistic here, but it does get the job done, and it does look very nice right here. Glad to use the FedEx feeder ATR-72 when I can, but well, today it's operated by Swift Air. But that'll do it for this Riga update, so thank you all for checking this one out. We'll turn it to get the concourse in here, at least some of it. We'll get some of our aircraft in here. We'll just do these three. Um, so yeah, great Riga update here. 11 aircraft in this one, which breaks our previous record of, I think, 10. So we're, we're still adding more and more on with, with each update. So that's great to see. Um, another successful update in the bag. So thank you all for checking this one out. And I will see you tomorrow. As always, good night. Auf Wiedersehen.